hello guys in this video you're going to learn how you can set up your own uh, domain how you can set up your host account that you'll be using for your um, website when building a website the first thing you have to take cognizance of is the name you want to call your website is like the address that everybody will browse into uh, for example now you have the facebook.com you have the twitter.com you have um, various website you have the google.com um, and so many others the Amazons and the rest of that so um, you have all this kind of website so you need to decide what name do you want to call your website so that is the name that you are going to register so once you've decided that you already have it in your mind what you want to build what you want to build your site on the next thing you have to do is to register that domain um, we have different websites online that you can use to register your domain there are so many a lot of websites that you can use to register your domain so that domain is where you are going to have your own website your own website that will be showing you how you can build so for case study we'll be using my dbhosting.com so you can just go to your browser and um, browse to my dbhosting dot com so uh, it's going to pop up a page like this for you then it's time for you to register your own to the domain that you want to build your website on uh, in my own case i'm going to use this as a case study tilepillar.com dot ng now um you can use any extension extension you can see various price they varies we have the .com ng we have the .com net we also have the org you can use any extension for your website if you are not so sure of the kind of extension you want to use because extensions varies depending on the project you are building um most times i always recommend that you use the .com if you really want to focus more on the commercial the business aspect but again if you think you you are budget constrained then you can go for the dot com dot ng but for the sake of this training i will be using dot com dot ng you can you are free to use whatever extension you want to use whether you want to use dot com you want to use dot net or you want to use dot org so you can decide whatever extension you want to use but like i said the best option to use is um, is dot com but for a case study i am just going to use the dot com dot ng so i'll just click on search i'm searching for my domains now to be sure that someone else has not taken it and is available for use so i'm going to take that okay it's telling me that it's available i also have the dot com available the dot net available and the dot org available so let me choose this the dot com dot ng so i'll be making use of this dot com dot ng all right so uh you can see it's telling me that, that it's available for use so i click on hard to cut hard to cut so and i check out uh, because i don't have a host yet so i want to i need to i need to attach a host to that domain so i'll be doing my domains configuration now so uh this is the name of the domain i want to buy then um all i need to do now something is very important in my domains as i i configure my domain or as i acquire my domain um what you need to do at this point now this second section is the dns management enable you to manage your your dns so check it just check this three um you are getting it here for free you can have it for free you also have the id protection protecting your domain visibilities from hackers so we also have the email forwarding enhancing your email um, services you also check it so all these three you get it for free on my db hosting.com now the next thing is you get a host you can see this red stuff here um, you no hosting click to her that means at the moment you only register a domain you only register an address you need a house you need to build a house on your on your address so uh, and when building a house and address you need that space 
you only have an address but you need a space for it where you build the house and so it is the same thing with this so you click on this red to give you access to um get a host that will work with your domain because domain and host they work together hand in hand domain and host work together hand in hand so i have chosen you can see um here i am now i have depending on the kind of website i want to build there are five gig option there are 20 gig option there are 50 gig option and there are 150 gig option the 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 20 gig options comes with a free domain that means you're not going to pay for the domain that you are using it comes to free.com.ng domain you're not going to pay for it uh while these come with a paid domain at this point you're going to choose the host that you want to make use of so we have the 5 gig host we have the 20 gig host you can see they all have their features and their benefits so uh, depending on the kind of website you want to build um you can you can um decide what you want to choose we also have the 50 gig and you have the 150 gigabytes um host account you can see their prices varies from 700 naira every month down to 8000 naira every month so if you want to be if you don't want to be paying monthly and you want to pay annually i will take you to where you pay since your website is not really a test uh you want to build a project that you can use i would recommend you go for the the um 20 gig space to give you a ample free space that you can use for your project and uh, it also comes with a free um domain inclusive a free dot com dot ng domain inclusive so uh we'll be taking i'll be using this as a case study whichever one you choose they all run the same way except that they have a higher functionality than one another so i choose the order now so i choose the order now all right so this is domain i want to to register so i click on use i click on use so uh it has brought me to this place so it has opened up all the features i want to make use of now at this point now uh i might not want to be paying every month i just want to make a one year payment because if you're for example now if i'm paying every month i tend to pay more but i want to make a one year payment so um but when you're making a one year payment there's a drastic deduction over 50 percent drastic deduction and your domain is free that means if you are buying the dot com dot ng it is free it comes free so your domain is free the dot com dot ng is free so we are going to register it with it um because i'm just throw down a little you're going to see a the monthly plan and the yearly plan so just choose the one year plan and um, click on continue all right so at this point now you can see that i've chosen i've chosen host account along with my domain so again i check these three buttons the id protect the email forwarding and the dns management and i continue all right so here is a purchase that i've made uh at this point i can see that um i'm only paying for the cost of the hosting the domain is given to me for free so i check out at this point so the cost of everything i'm buying is just ten thousand naira. after listing all those features together the cost of everything i'm buying is ten thousand naira. so i click on it all right so uh at this point i'm going to enter my necessary information because the system will need to create account for you that you will use to manage your um your website used to manage your domain and used to manage your project your project so it's going to create an account for you automatically so that you can manage your project from that aspect all right so i'm going to use my own name as a case study so i'm going to use taiwo uh, my name is pillar 
then uh, I'm going to use let me see if I have one address an email address I'm okay so I'm using the Pillarcom video HD uh, as a case study then choose my my country the my phone numbers I'm going to enter my phone number here choose your country's um, code your country telephone code then um, enter your number so I'm going to use my phone number 081 so all right so that's my number all right what is it again do I need to put so the billing address uh, so you can just put whatever thing you want to put here let me just put something there um, okay let me just put let me use um, another of my company's name so I just put those informations there uh, you just you can put something there your billing address just fill this fill this form and um, so it's asking for your domain information so you can just allow it to use the information that is there for your domain you can use whatever anything you want to use so now at this point you generate your password uh, generate a password for yourself that you can use to log in so I'm going to create a password for myself so please create a password generate password that you can use to log in into your account so that you can manage your project it's very important because um, you'll be working with various projects building project for clients building personal projects building different kind of websites for entrepreneurship purpose now at this point now you decide how you want to make your payment when you use the flutter wave your account is activated immediately and your host account is ready for use now you want to use the bank transfer when you use the bank transfer that means um, um, your domain or your um, account may not be active until after payment is confirmed so um, you can also use um, the Bitcoin you can use Bitcoin to make payment so it gives you the freedom so anybody in any part of the world can use um, this you also have the flutter way. so these are the three payment options that is readily available then if you want to send any information to the admin you can enter it here and if you don't have any information you want to send then you can leave it blank. maybe you have another thing you want um, the the host company to be aware of um, you can add it here and once you are done um, you could just click on complete order so it brings you to this section um, you can see the my DB hosting is a project of Tower of Tech you can see this is a company's name um, you enter your card details right here um, informations here are secured fully secured and your credit card details are not stored on this um, server and um, this same payment system is being powered by flutter wave you can see it's secured by flutter wave so and that's just it you also have you can either use your card or you want to use the ussd or you also want to use the bank transfer you want to use bank you have bank options that you can use or you also want to use um, bank transfer you want to use bank transfer say i want to make a transfer into the company's account so you can decide whatever you want to use you can do your transfer tavros take so you can do the transfer to the company's uh, account with my bank or you can also use other options that is made available for you so that is the beauty of this so once you've done that and payment is made your account is activated immediately so in our next video uh we'll be showing you how you can start building website on the host account that you have bought thank you